of terrorists known as the Brotherhood of Fools, with operatives throughout Europe and Asia now suspected to be moving into the United States. Hello. What are you doing in your room? You are only in town for one night. You are supposed to be down here at the party. Is Dr. Halpern there? Yes, but everyone is asking about you. Really? Well, no, but there are some pretty cute guys here, and one of them is bound to be your type, so put your tiniest little dress on and get down here now. Dr. Halperin, the rumor is that your book brings to light an underground network that drives neo-fascist movement across Europe into one organization called the Brotherhood of Thule that could rival Al-Qaeda as a source of terror around the world. Is that the rumor? Is it true that you name important political leaders as part of this movement? Well, you're just gonna have to read the book, and I uh, apologize in advance for the high cover price. Somehow the Publishers insist on making a profit. <laughs> a great deal of work went into this book at great personal risk to Dr. Halperin, but I guarantee you, the book is well worth the price, and we expect to see it at the top of the bestsellers list, which is why we are here to celebrate. This is a party not a press conference. Right. To courage, truth, and very good champagne. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce my very capable assistant, Amy Nightingale. Miss Nightingale, maybe you could reveal something about the book that Dr. Halperin seems to be refusing to divulge. Oh, I'm just an innocent bystander. Dr. Halperin, are you at all concerned that naming names could put you or someone who works for you in danger? Yeah, I don't know how to answer that question. I suppose it's possible, but as Dr. Halpern has told me many times throughout the process of writing this book, the real danger is in ignoring this disturbing movement and allowing it to grow without criticism. We can only wish that someone wrote a book like this in Munich in 1936. It's true. Uh, this work required a great deal of courage, and <sighs> Miss Nightingale is one of the bravest women I know. And uh, gentlemen, she's also quite single. Uh, and shy. Well, that was quite the introduction. I do hope you plan to capitalize on it. I'm not really in a party mood tonight, Sharon. You're not thinking about Mike, are you? We were supposed to be married today. Ugh, I never liked him anyway. You thought he was great. Well, I was wrong. He left you at the altar, so he's dead to me. And can you please take your engagement ring off? This is not my engagement ring. This is my grandmother's. My finger just, it felt naked without Mike's ring. Hey, you'll find another man. You'll find lots of men. My God, have you seen that bartender? Every time he looks at me, my back sweats. Why don't you go introduce yourself? I, I, I have to be on a flight in nine hours. I, I'm delivering the manuscript to Zurich. Great, that gives you nine hours to have a little fling. It'll give you something to dream about on the flight. He's checking you out. 
I don't do one night stands. You're the most adventurous woman I have ever met, except when it comes to men. So go introduce yourself. He's still looking. Uh, Sharon, darling? The? Oh, darn it. I forgot something upstairs. It's a little surprise for you. I will be right back. Can I get a glass of turn champagne? Turn around. What? Excuse me? Just turn around for me. Um. You, uh, forgot to remove your price tag. Well, you have very good taste. And an eye for a bargain. 50% off. It's a beautiful dress. You wear it well. Thank you. I, uh, need to let you in on something. I'm not supposed to be talking to the guests. But you're worth breaking the rules for. <laughs> Your eyes are an unusual color. Kind of like a polished bronze or Butterfly wings. Are you staying in the hotel? Why? What room number? I don't think so. Not like I can't figure it out. I mean, I do work here, you know. Do you realize the damage you're causing? You're talking to me? Yes. You. You're glorifying the fascists and stirring up old resentments. I'm not going to have this conversation with you. You are digging up things that should remain unseen and buried to rot. And, and who are you to cause so much trouble? I can find no record of you anywhere. What are your credentials? That's none of your concern. People will take your book as a glorification of fascism. All for sensationalism and an easy dollar to pay for your, your, your champagne and your caviar. Excuse me, do you have an invitation? Oh! Uh. Oh, I got you. Thank you. My sincere apologies, madam. You should be ashamed to work for that man. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, but I am gonna go back up to my room. Just a moment. Dr. Halpern has something for you. You have... Brains, you yeah, have beauty, and above all, you have a big heart. Make sure you show it to the publishers in Zurich. Well, speaking of which, I have an early flight, so I'll call you when I land. Okay, well, I hope that you at least slip the bartender your number. Will you stop? One for the road. today is or what it should have been are you drinking what no no i just thought we could have a civil conversation now you never had time to talk before you were always so wrapped up in your work i'm sorry i can't talk about this right now why not who is that Oh, you're not alone. No, I'm not. Mm, well, you always were a hit with the ladies. Tell me, do you even know this one's last name? 
I should. It's the same as mine. Linda and I were married last week, Amy. Wow. Good. Wow, good for you. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. That's... Wow, congratulations. That's really, that's... You know what, it's, it's late, so I, I should probably... Good night, Amy. Take care of yourself. Oh, yeah, no, don't, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll... Uh, just a minute. <sighs> Listen, Mike, I'm I'm really sorry I shouldn't have called. Hey, I need to get you on a plane before that loudmouth crazy at the reception causes enough problems to concern our people in Zurich. Well, I know. That's why I'm taking the first flight in the morning. It's best if you get on a red eye. I put you on flight 117. Sharon, come on. I just took something to relax. Dr. Halperin went back to his room and found it ransacked. We think it's best <sighs> if you get to Zurich as quickly as possible. Fine, I understand. I'll call you when I get on the plane. Miss Nightingale? Yes. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm from the airline. We just got a call from a Dr. Halperin. Is something wrong? Oh, no, not at all. Uh, he actually called to upgrade your ticket to first class. So that means you're welcome to relax in our first class lounge. It's a lot more comfortable and private there. I can show you where it is if you like. That'd be great. Thank you. Is everything okay? I'm not too thrilled to be flying. The storm coming in isn't helping. Oh, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. It's just gonna be a little. You can relax, feel free to sleep, and uh, I'll wake you for your flight. Oh, thank you. Now, is there anything else I can get you? No, I think I'm okay, but 
You're, you're very kind. Thank you. Sir, hi, can I help you? Sir, this lounge is for first class passengers only. Can I see your boarding pass? I'll pay. Okay, sir, if you're not a first class traveler, I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to get your hands off me or I'll break your arm. What about that woman? She doesn't look like she belongs in first class. Okay, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside. Sir, if you don't take a step back, I'm calling airport security right now. Thank you. Sir? It's Kevin from the First Class Lounge. Listen, we have a situation here. I was wondering if you could send one of your men up. I'm sorry. I will change. I promise. I'm done with promises. Mike, just give me another chance, please. Miss Nightingale. Hi, so sorry to wake you, uh, but there's another plane to Zurich that's just become unexpectedly available. Now, it is taking off in 15 minutes, so if you wanted to leave right away, we could get you on board. Unexpected? Yeah, I guess they need another plane in Zurich for some reason. Well, this is good news. You have plenty of room to stretch, but they are boarding right now, so they need you at the gate immediately. Uh, okay. Well, I can help you with your bags. After you, to your left. so empty. Uh, well, well, you're in luck. Uh, the plane's being shuttled back to our hub for a routine inspection, so there's only 19 passengers. A routine inspection is something wrong? No, uh, of course not. Uh, we're about to take off, so please take your seat. Can I get you anything? Uh, champagne? Perhaps some warm brandy? No, thank you. Uh, well, if you need anything, just call. There's only two flight attendants on board, but I will make sure that you are taken care of. Thank you. <sighs> Ronnie! See you later. Phone's off. Oh, I'm just sending a quick text just to let someone know I made the flight safely. Phone's off. 
Okay, um... I'm sorry, this is a new phone. I, I don't know how to put it on airplane mode. May I? That is my personal property. It'll be safe right there. <laughs> well, it's quite a storm out up there. You never see it rain like this in L.A. Global warming. Just changing everything. Never know what's happening one moment to the next. I'm Rose. I'm Amy. Amy, that's my daughter's middle name. Oh, and you're about the same age, 35? 26. Oh, yes, of course you are. <sighs> Never see empty flights like this anymore. No, they just try to nowadays cram you in like sardines. They make the seats smaller, they shrink the leg room, anything to increase the profits. Thank God for upgrades, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, I've heard that they're um, taking this plane to Zurich because there's a problem with the wings. Uh, th that is just what I heard. <laughs> I I'm sure they wouldn't put passengers on a plane that wasn't safe to fly. Well, I wouldn't put it past them. Oh, well, I, I think you're wrong. Oh, 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 I am a Reiki healer and an empath. We read energy fields. I just have a very odd feeling about this flight. Please, please, really, I, 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 I am anxious enough. Definitely a bad vibe. Okay, then why are you <sighs> aboard? Really, maybe you should just take another flight. What, well, you, you can't change fate. What's written is written. No, I'm sorry, but I, I, I disagree. I think we always have a choice. We always have a choice to choose the path our lives will take. Well, you just keep believing that, dear. Fasten your seatbelts and stow your tray tables. We'll be taking off in just a moment. Oh, welcome aboard. Thank you. All right. Welcome aboard. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for takeoff. I can't believe you left the passenger manifest on the jetway. I'm sorry, we were in a rush. This is a serious security breach, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna take heat for it. I apologize. Okay, I will take full responsibility. Oh, yes, you will. This is your captain speaking. Everyone, please remain in your seats with your seat belts fastened. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Had a little wind shear, but we're above the weather, and we should have smooth sailing to Switzerland. Welcome to Ambassador Airlines Flight 1613, nonstop to Zurich, Switzerland. Please sit back, relax. You're in good hands with our flight attendants. Do you know there were seven major airline crashes last year? They just factor it into their insurance payment. You know what? I hope you don't mind, but I really think I prefer an aisle seat. Ma'am, the seatbelt sign is still on. You must take your seat immediately. I'm sorry, I just... Please sit down. <sighs> Hiya. <laughs> Look, I just gotta tell you, I'll be getting up a lot. Whenever I travel to L.A., I always overdo the Mexican food. I mean, 
it's the best in the country here. But it is not exactly what the doctor ordered when it comes, you know, to the old digestive system. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm Howard. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi. Yeah, I was really hoping to sleep all the way through to Zurich, so I, I hope you don't mind. Oh my gosh, why would I mind? No, 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 no. Go ahead, sleep. I'll make sure no one bothers you. So LA is your home? Uh, San Francisco. Oh. Are you a model? Actress? No. Oh. Well, you would do very well as a model. You would. You look just like my favorite pinup when I was a kid. Mm. Really, I mean, the same nose and the same eyes and the same. Well, it's amazing. <laughs> really. Oh, spent a lot of lonely nights with that poster. Captain speaking. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like I spoke a little too soon. We'll try to find an altitude where the air is less bumpy. In the meantime, please remain in your seats with the seat belts fastened. It's just turbulence. <laughs> These pilots, they know what they're doing. Do you know that we would have to fall a solid three miles before we hit the ground? Oh. It's just quiet and sleep. <clears throat> you know, strange as it is, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to. I can help you out. Night is all. Mm, I've tried that. It doesn't work for me. No, no. I got these in Holland. Yeah. I think they make them stronger for the European market. No, thank you. Look, I got plenty. I'm a salesman. I fly five days a week. I really... I don't think I could do my job without these little babies. Give me something. I take one when I get to the hotel, and I sleep for a solid eight hours. I wake up, and it's like I've had a massage and a cup of coffee. I've actually taken something already, so... No, thank you. The fact is, I will not be able to enjoy this flight if you're going to be so jumpy the whole time. I'll be fine. Okay. Just nine more hours to go. You sure? That'd be great. Yes. Thanks. Excuse me. Why are you out of your seat? Well, the sign is off. I just wanted a glass of water, please. Take your seat and I'll bring it to you. Please. Please. Hi. Are you okay? We're gonna crash, aren't we? No. No, of course not. I'm Amy. What's your name? Haley. Are you flying alone, Haley? Fred is here. Oh. There's no reason to be frightened. you a secret if you look outside that window right there you might be able to see that 
your angels holding up the wings. I don't see them. They're kind of hard to see in the dark, but they're beautiful blue angels with dragonflies for wings. And they're going to make sure nothing happens to us. They're going to keep us safe. So why don't you just close your eyes and think of your favorite place, and I bet in no time you'll be asleep. And when you wake up, we'll be on the ground safely. Okay. Okay? No, no touch. L leave Miss Haley alone. I, I, I was just trying to make her feel better. Uh, please, leave her alone. I'm sorry. You okay? She's crazy. I'd like to purchase a glass of wine, please. Drinks are complimentary. We'll be starting beverage service in just a bit. Oh, excuse me. I think you dropped this. Oh, thank you. Another person might have kept it. No problem. You're an angel. I'm indebted to you. Now, I'd better get back with the rest of the cattle. Mm. Is, it, is, there, is there a problem? Does something happen? Well, we were hit by lightning, but apparently that happens all the time. So, no need to worry. Yeah, but the Wi-Fi went out. Uh, sorry, I really need to help Gail with some technical procedures. Uh, just routine, I promise. Enjoying yourself? I'm sorry? It's kind of nice, isn't it? Flying at night. 
It's like you're away from the whole world, just sailing through the stormy universe in a spaceship. It's an interesting way of looking at it. May I? Sure. Mark. Julia. That's a beautiful ring. Perhaps I'm intruding. Oh no, 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 no! I'm, I'm, I'm not married. I, I just my, my it was my grandmother's. <clears throat> Is Eric home? No, just a business trip. Banking? Uh, no. Hmm? Huh? No, I'm sorry. I'm being rude. It's really not my business. No, it's okay. He, no, I, I uh, sort of work in the publishing business. Oh, I design furniture. Really? What kind? Tables, chairs. I make a pretty good couch. If you want an ottoman, I'm your guy. Okay, well, I will keep that in mind. Actually, I work for a hotel chain. I specialize in sturdy things, things that can take a beating. And do you enjoy it? Well, it has me on the road all year round. It can be a pretty lonely life. I'm sure you don't have trouble meeting people. Well. The worst part is the company won't even fly me business class. They're probably serving you poached salmon in first class, and all I get is a lousy bag of pretzels. I like pretzels. Be my guest. I take it you don't like flying. No. I actually really wanted to sleep all the way through to Zurich, but I have taken a Xanax, I've taken a sleeping pill, and nothing is helping. I could tell you all about hotel furniture. That's guaranteed to put you out like a light. <laughs> this is disgusting. I don't think they can even legally call it wine. <laughs> How do you fancy volunteering for a top secret mission? Are you good at being sneaky? I. I bet you could pull off a little heist for us. Steal a couple of bottles of scotch from first class. The good stuff. <laughs> Of course, if, if you're found out, then I'll have to disavow any knowledge of the operation and you'd be on your own. You up to it? You just watch me. And if I don't return, just tell them I did it for my country. Excuse me, can I have some scotch? Sit down, I'll bring it to you. Oh, you know what? I can just take the bottles, that's fine. Is this the good stuff? It's as good as you're gonna get on this flight. Thank you. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Excellent work. Oh, sorry. For that, you deserve a medal. <laughs> and I'll see that you're recommended for promotion. <laughs> promotion to what? Oh, very special position. The seat is a little wet, I'm sorry. It was pouring oh. with rain before I got to the airport. I, I, I got soaked. Mm, that's okay. Hmm. So do you always like to sit at the very back of the plane? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm just curious. I tend to be a little too curious for my own good. I tell you what, let's stop with the questions. I mean, for all you know, I could be making it all up anyway, right? In fact, I do have a confession to make. Mark's not actually my real name. Oh, really? Hmm. 
Well, I have a confession too. Julia, it's not my real name. Anna. But how, how did you know? No, just the way you said it without conviction. Ugh. So what is your real name? That's another question. Oh, sorry. Why don't we forget about our real names? I'm gonna call you... Angel. And what should I call you? Mm, let's stick with Mark for now. Okay. Mark. I like it when a woman lies to me. Why? Suggests an ulterior motive, suggests intrigue. You say the strangest things. <laughs> I've dreamt of this often. Meeting a beautiful and mysterious girl on a long nighttime flight. I'm mysterious? Yes. Are you hiding from me? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm I'm fine. Sorry, I just yeah, I got a little dizzy. I I took something to help me sleep. Uh, looking for something? Do you remember the man who was sitting right here in the seat? No. Uh, is there a problem? No. Can I help you back to your seat? Oh no, 
No, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. I was just calling to make sure you were all right. All right? Do I look all right? I was nearly killed. Our deal is off. I want a driver to take me to the airport immediately. We've been asked to stay in our rooms until further notice. Oh. So now I'm a prisoner? I really think that you're overreacting. Oh, really? So just how am I supposed to react to nearly being blown to pieces? It may have been a gas explosion for all we know. It was a bomb, Jaron. Someone tried to kill me. This was not part of our deal. I thought you were looking forward to becoming a public figure. I was, but not like this. I want out, and now. We will take precautions. As soon as we can, we will move you to another hotel. You're not hearing me, Sharon. I'm done. We have an agreement. Would you like to contest that agreement in court for the whole world to see? By backing out now, you could put Amy in serious danger. Amy is not my responsibility, frankly. Amy invites danger. That is not true. Whatever. Amy is on her own. Whatever you're looking for, I'd be glad to help you find it. Are you sure you don't remember a man sitting in 72H? This is my first flight, and Gail, my supervisor, has kind of been on my case, so I'm a little distracted. What did he look like? He was uh, tall, dark hair, kind of a squared off jaw. He was wearing a blue shirt and a plaid yellow tie and a type of trench coat. Sounds like the cover of a spy novel. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't seen anyone like that. It's okay, never mind. It's not important. If there's anything else you need, I'm your man. Take your seat. No, no, I, I've lost my ring. It, it's a very expensive ring. It was my grandmother's. Okay. So? So I'm saying I lost my ring on this flight. It's, it, it's, it's an antique. It, it's like, like a flower, diamonds. It, has anyone turned in a ring? No. And the airline takes no responsibility for lost items if you're hoping to make a claim. No, I'm not hoping to... Sorry, listen, I was in the back of the plane, okay? I, I was in uh, row 72, and there was a man, and we were talking, and I fell asleep, and I, I woke up, and he was gone, and, and my ring was gone, too. Ma'am, you've had at least two bottles of scotch. The scotch, yes. has to be down here somewhere. Can you please help me look? I don't see any ring. Could you make an announcement and see if anyone, you know, has seen it, any of the passengers? Ma'am, the passengers are sleeping. Please.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry to disturb you, but one of our passengers claims to have lost a diamond ring. Please check your immediate area. If you find a ring, press the attendant call button. Again, I'm very sorry to disturb you. There. Are you satisfied? your problem I'm sorry I you're gonna have to take your seat when we land in Zurich you could search the plane all you want but for now I'm gonna insist that you stop bothering the other passengers or interfering with the flight now are we gonna have a problem no I I'm really sorry about is your work. Mike, I'm sorry. I will change. I promise. I'm done with promises. Mike, just give me another chance, please. Mike. Mike. My, my, you were out for quite some time. Was I? How, how long was I sleeping? Oh, I didn't pay that close attention. Something really strange has happened to me. You have come to the right person. Okay, well, I, I was sitting right over there and I couldn't sleep, so I, I got up and I went back to coach and I sat next to this well, I, I think I sat next to this very handsome man, and, and we... Joined the Mile High Club? What? No. No, no. We, we, we were just talking, and, uh, well, he did kiss me. It was, yeah, very nice. And we kissed for a while, and I started seeing colors, but I think it was from the sleeping pill, and I kind of passed out, and when I woke up, he was gone. Mm. I wish I had dreams like that. <laughs> but no, it wasn't a dream. No, this, this, I, I think this really happened. I and mean, it was so vivid, just everything, you know, the way he smelled and the way he felt. And you know, can I tell you something else? It was on the floor in the bathroom. <sighs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. I. <sighs> So I guess it was a dream. I mean, I have never had a dream like that. Uh, have you been having a difficult time lately? Any recent traumas? Well, I, I broke up with my fiance, but that, that... You broke up or he broke up? He did. And when was this? About six months ago. How did that make you feel? I was devastated. I mean... It changed everything, you know? Uh, I don't know who I can trust or what I can trust. I mean, if his love for me wasn't real, then what can I count on in my life, you know? Are you in therapy? I am. Yeah, I had a, I had a bit of a breakdown, you know, after Mike left. I mean, I was seeing a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Medication? Yeah, he put me on something for my anxiety, but I just don't like taking it, you know? It makes me feel like I'm underwater or something. Have you had vivid dreams in the past? No, nothing like this. I mean, I had a very vivid imagination when I was a child, but... I think your subconscious was trying to comfort you with a satisfying fantasy. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's crazy. <laughs> 
Wow, what's that? What? A, a, a bruise on your neck. Looks like a hickey. <laughs> And I remember this. I, rem I remember he kind of bit my neck. It happened. There, there is no way I could have made that up. I, I, I couldn't have. I'm telling you that man is on this plane. Do you have your anxiety medicine with you? Yeah. Could you get it? Have you seen anyone open these compartments? No. Excuse me. Excuse me, I am so sorry, but did you see anyone open this compartment? No, no. My things are missing. What things? Everything. My, my, my suitcase, my laptop, my purse, it's just, they're just gone. Now what? M my bags are missing. I don't know what you've been taking or how much you've had to drink, but I'm gonna have to ask you to take your seat until we reach our destination. No, please, please, did anyone open this compartment? I mean, did you see anyone take anything out of these bins? No, I did not. Now, please sit down. Can we ask him? Did you see anyone in these bins? I haven't seen anyone. Something is going on here. She's been drinking. No, I have not. I, I am not drunk. This man was sitting right here in the seat. He came on the plane at the last minute. It, 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 he was soaked from the rain. Feel the seat, it's still wet. Ronnie, do you remember a passenger in the seat? There was a man sitting right here. He, he had a, a yellow tie, he was very handsome. He, he bit my neck and, 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 and now my things are gone. I'm pretty sure, I don't know why, but this man has taken my stuff. Please help me find this man. Let's go back to our seat and calm down. No! I'm not drunk, and I am not crazy. Ma'am, take your seat now, or you will be placed under arrest. I'm sure they deal with this all the time. You'll be fine. No, it's not going to be fine because I don't have a passport. So customs won't let me through and they're going to send me right back to America and I have to deliver these contracts. That's it. Hey. That's it. I'm sorry, folks. I'll take care of this. No, 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 don't, don't, don't look at me like, like, I, like I'm crazy, because I'm not crazy. You're making the other passengers afraid. You, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Haley, you're not afraid of me, are you? You said you saw blue people outside holding the wings. What? No, I, I was just trying to make you feel better. She was afraid of the turbulence, so I said that there were angels holding up the wings. Uh, there is a man on this plane somewhere who, who has taken my things. Can someone please help me find this man? That's him. What? Hey, lady. That's my laptop. Uh, you're out of your mind. No, 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 no. This, this, this is my laptop bag. It's mine. You work for Richmond Flooring? 
No. No. You've become a danger to the other passengers and a threat to the safe operation of this plane. I'm taking you into official custody. What? No. Do you want me to call the captain? Yes, yes, call the captain, please. Yes, Don. I have a passenger here who claims a man stole her luggage and then disappeared. Yes, disappeared off the plane. I understand, sorry for bothering you. The flight deck is busy with the plane's electrical problems. You'll have to wait until we reach Zurich. I need you to take her to the back of the plane and stay with her until we land, okay? Hold on. Fill out this incident report and don't let her leave her seat for any reason. What if she has to use the restroom? We'll be on the ground in two hours. She can hold it. What is wrong with you? You have been very rude. You have refused to help me. You know what, when we land, I'm filing a report. And when we land, I'm gonna have you arrested. Come on, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Can you get a message to her? It's important. <sighs> yes, I'm here. Um, how can trouble be routine? You're telling me that there is no way to contact the flight. You have a passenger that could be in serious danger. When does the flight land? Thank you. What's gonna happen when we land? Am I gonna be arrested? Probably not. I think Gail just needs to make sure that you don't endanger the flight. I'm not crazy. I know. I mean, I don't know, but I don't think you are. I know what's really going on here. I think this might all be some sort of test for the new guy. You know, see how I handle extreme situations? I don't think so. I mean, there's other ways they could test you. They don't have to drive a passenger crazy to test you. <laughs> Look, I apologize for Gail. Uh, I've never worked with her before, but I'm told she's on administrative probation, so that's why she's so grouchy. Probation for what? I don't know. But if another incident happens on one of her flights, it could mean that she gets fired, so. You can kind of understand why she's being such a... Yeah, I guess. Thanks for not treating me like I'm psychotic. Gotta be a little crazy not to go nuts in this world, right? <laughs> wow, uh, I really just said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, you might be the only sane person on this flight. A little turbulence and everyone goes nuts. Do you mind if I, uh, if I sit down? No, I don't mind. So where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. I grew up in Marin. Really? That's nice. I'm actually a, a sculptor. And I know I look pretty good in the uniform, but, you know, I'm just doing this to keep my family happy. It's, I get a trust fund when I turn 30, and, uh, but I'm expected to work until then, and my family doesn't consider sculpting real work. Is there anywhere on this plane that a man could be hiding? The cockpit? But uh, nobody gets in there. I mean, the lead flight attendant has the only key. Whoa, what is that? I don't... It's a flash drive. Well, I know that, but I don't, I don't, I don't. Excuse me, I'm with Interpol. Sure you saw me on your passenger manifest? Ah, uh, yeah. I can handle the passenger if you want to get back to your duties. I don't really have any duties, uh, I'm fine. I'll take good care of her, I promise. I actually have some questions for her. Uh, let me know if you need anything. So you wanted to ask me some questions? First off, let me tell you how sorry I am for everything that's happened to you on here. But there's gotta be a logical explanation for all this. So when we land in Zurich, I'm gonna make sure that the authorities do a thorough search of the plane and everyone in it. Your things couldn't have just disappeared. I'm sure we'll find them. Thank you. And what about this man? Man? 
There was a man on this flight. He was sitting in that seat right there. We started talking. I brought us drinks from first class. He kissed me and I fell asleep. And when I woke up, he was gone. He was gone from the plane. I have looked everywhere. You don't believe any of this, do you? I got to admit, the whole thing sounds a little strange. And as an officer, I'm trained to be skeptical. But it doesn't shock me they lost track of a passenger. A bunch of them boarded at the last minute. I was late. I had to leave my luggage on the jetway and just hope it made it on this plane with me. Why did you want to question me? The fact is there have been a series of thefts on these international flights. Now they're usually big items, jewelry, stocks, cash. Were you carrying any item of value with you? No. No, I, I have one of two copies of a very important manuscript on my laptop, but anything of great value, no. Well, if someone took your things, as you say, then they're still on board. Because I don't recall anyone leaving. But who? Could be anyone. The problem is I don't have the authorization to search this plane and everyone in it. So maybe if you and I work together, we can figure out this little mystery of yours. So what should I do? I want you to walk through the cabin, nice and casual. See if you notice anything out of the ordinary. What should I be looking for? Anything suspicious. If someone makes direct eye contact with you or, or smiles right at you, they're probably hiding something. Well, that's a comforting thought. Okay. The red laptop case is acting strange. He just gave me a weird look. You're doing a good job. doing you were ordered to remain in your seat the, the officer gave me permission this is my flight and you'll do as I say you are a psychopath now what did you take I didn't take anything I apologize I will handle this back to your seat look you're obviously drunk so you want to maybe take it easy or do you want me to file a report about your behavior Nothing to worry about, folks. Just a wig. Let's go. Someone on board this plane has changed his appearance. Thief. Perhaps. I just thought of another place that somebody could be hiding. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. This plane has a small crew rest compartment below decks. It's just large enough for a couple of bunk beds. It's hardly ever used. Does it need a key? No, I don't think so. Do me a favor, go keep Gail occupied until we check this out. Okay. Okay. You ready to find out if your mysterious stranger's down there? If you don't see it for yourself, you'll always have doubts. Okay. 
Okay, I got you. See? Empty. Kind of cozy, huh? They should rent this out to honeymooners. I want to go back upstairs. The necklace? Hand it to me, please. What? Give me the necklace, or I'll take it from you. It's not worth anything. Give me the damn... Just try to attack me. Find me. Find me, Angel. Find me, Angel. What are you doing? I'm calling the flight deck. We have an emergency. I'm not answering. Give me the cockpit key. No. Gail, please. No. What? Let go. Let go. Hello, Angel. Come in and lock the door. Sit down. If I kill him, we'll die. He's not dead, he's just sedated. And if everyone behaves, no one has to die. Where's Nicholas? I, I don't know who you're talking about. What do you want? I already have it. Dr. Halperin's book will never be published. That's not the only copy, you know. I'm aware of that. It's taken care of. The hotel explosion. Not a success, as it turns out. But we'll get him. The movement has many resources. Nicholas and I are but a small part, but as you can see, an effective one. You could have killed innocent people at that hotel. Every great struggle has a few collateral casualties. You son of a bitch. Uh, we are approaching Zurich. We're going to need to file a plan. As we discussed. Now, this knife may be ceramic, but I assure you it is perfectly capable of separating your head from your body with very little effort. Mayday! Mayday! Swiss Control, this is Ambassador Flight 16. One, three, we are declaring an emergency. We have a failure of our electrical system. I've lost my co-pilot, and I don't know how much longer I can hold on. Request vectors to nearest airport and immediate descent. Put it on speaker. Ambassador flight 1613, Swiss control, we copy. Oh, it looks like Brandon Airfield is closest. Take heading 235 and if able, descend to and maintain 12000. Roger, new heading 235, leaving 1900 for 12000. Please be advised. We'll be evacuating the airplane when we arrive. You may want to buckle up. Just fly the plane. Okay, take your knife off my throat. I have a little bit of business to do here, huh? No games. having electrical problems this whole flight. Just give me a second, I can fix this. Don't even think about it. Looks like we're making an unscheduled landing, folks. Seats and tray tables in their full upright landing positions, please.
Roadster 1613 emergency vehicles will escort you to the terminal. Stay off the radio. All right, what do you want me to tell the passengers? Nothing. Your job's done. Come on, up. Now keep your mouth shut. Open the door. The pilot, he's in the cockpit, he needs help. Stay polite and you'll be fine. That man hijacked the plane. His partner's in the crew compartment downstairs. <clears throat> She's an air marshal. I knew it. I just want you to know, I had a good feeling about you from the moment I met you. Now, your future, it contains many challenges, but you have more strength than you know. Here, this is for you. You're a very nice girl. Ma'am, if you'd like to come this way, our captain would like to debrief. Uh, Amy. Can I talk to him for a minute? After we collect the statements. This way, please. No, I'm fine, Sharon. I promise. I'm just exhausted. I spent the last two hours answering questions from the police. Oh, they kept my laptop for the investigation. <sighs> Necklace was a good idea, though. And that drive contains all of your research materials and the only other copy of your book. And I know how you are about keeping copies, so... I'm just glad everyone's safe at the hotel. Yes. Our, um... Our Dr. Halperin was shaken up, and he doesn't want to play your decoy anymore. But don't worry, OK? Your identity is still protected. I'm pulling up to the corporate residence, so all I want to think about right now is taking a hot bath and a nice long nap. Yes, well, you deserve it. So take a day and enjoy yourself, and don't worry about anything. Thank you.
pilots are listed in stable condition. Authorities have no motive for the hijacking. No demands were made, and the plane landed as scheduled in Switzerland. Police say witness claims there was a second suspect aboard the plane, but no second man was found. Meanwhile, in other... What do you mean no second man was found? ...officials are urging restraint to parties on all sides as the Middle East tensions continue to rise. and intifada seems inevitable, according to one administration official. You never say goodbye. I never wanted to hurt you. I told them she's innocent. Let's not harm her if it can be avoided. I'm not alone. Yes, you are. You are more alone than you know. What do you want? No assistant would risk so much. You're the author of the book. What does it say about your brotherhood that a person like me has to be afraid of you? That we're powerful. The brotherhood is bigger than you know. We've been growing in the darkness for years. It won't survive in the light. Just give me the necklace. If I fall, my blow be on your hands. Please. Yes, do you speak English? Yes, I need the police immediately, please. And an ambulance. It's a uh, two, two, one, handle lane. Hurry, please. Thank you. He broke into the house. But whoever it is, he can't hurt you now. How did you find me? Well, I got the address from the incident report I filled out on the plane. Why did you come here? 
guess I couldn't imagine leaving without ever seeing you again. Besides, I have something of yours. <laughs> I saw the paper today, Sharon. Number three on the bestsellers list. It's, it's pretty good, right? Are you kidding? It's great. They're already having hearings in the UN about some of your charges. How does it feel to be a cause for good in the world? Oh, the only cause I'm worried about right now is getting a tan. Listen, I'm gonna turn off my phone while I'm in the Bahamas, so don't even think about calling me. What time is your flight? Oh, I'm already in the air. Yeah, a vacation is the only reason we'd get back on a plane. Um, we? Uh, I gotta go, but I will talk to you in a few weeks. You guys have fun. I can pretty much guarantee that. Bye. You doing good? I am now. This is the captain speaking. Estimated flight time is nine hours and 22 minutes, so sit back, relax, enjoy your flight.